Squall versus Laguna matchup. Laguna making a very good range character. Uh, going for a crazy combo of, of the Jet. Uh, doesn't seem to hit for barely like a centimeter. And Squall being a very good overall character with his good mix up, good, very good matchup spread. And overall tools that are just very useful in general. Uh, Laguna is going to be setting up a lot of traps and a lot of different attack. He has the pommel that you see, which is just insane regarding EX4, EX Force generation. Uh, but mainly you'll see Laguna going off the ground, going for sniper hits, sniper hit being mid priority, so you can't guard against them. And now we have uh, we have yeah we're still going on the same match. It's my bad. Oh, very good precision dodge for the fated circle right here. Going off of the chase, double bravery. The squall is going to have the hit of the bravery chase, but the Laguna is already. 80% EX generated, which is really good. Fortunately, this Kuja hit is going to take off like 10% off of that. Uh, but both of them are going to rush for that EX core. Um, Laguna is about 95% of his EX gauge, so the fairies are here is going to come out pretty soon. Very good uh, conversion of that Ragnarok Buster. So a double roll rush is going to happen right here. And we're going to see bouncing hits from the sniper to get tons of damage off of that. Repulsing the aerial circle, really good way to, to handle that right here. Unfortunately, the dash was not enough to escape the vortex attack from the squall. Um, oh, my bad, I didn't update it that. It's Slake Roll against Raven right now. Very good precision dodge right here to cancel out the Ragnarok Blade. Here we have a very good uh, mix-up here with the HP attack being able to uh, being able to gain that full EX gauge. So we are going to see the Golden Guns uh, from Laguna. Very good assist punish uh, with the uh, Kuja right here. Unfortunately. Uh, he missed the fact that I think he wanted to go for deflagration and just get the punish of that. Fully X gauge again. He's going to deplete maybe every assist uh, that the other guy has. Oh no, he's going to lock the assist, regain his EX gauge from that, from the de uh, generated EX that was present on the battlefield. Uh, he can't seem to have an opening to get a very good EX. And that's the counterplay to Laguna. Whenever Laguna is just trying with the sniper like this, you just walk and it works. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, look, the fairies are here. Has been uh, put, uh, put up. And oh, this is going to be little. Uh, just a very well placed EX burst is going to be enough. With the best attack ever. Very good uh, act from Slate Roll right here. Oh. So World of Darkness is our neutral map. It's like the final destination of Dissidia. It's a very flat map with some terrain that you can exploit, some terrain that you can destroy, some rails, and it's not too big. Okay, and you'll be seeing a lot uh, the Emperor go for a Starfall, which basically grants him protections against every light magical attack, which is something the Thunder is. So by casting Thunder too close to him, he might be able to be broken, just like what happened right here. Oh, and a very good flare right here. That is going to break just in the slight end of it. 
Okay, so Emperor is starting up his trap, which is a Dreary Cell, a flare onto it. Dreary Cell is this small lightning spark that you see that is going to be creating this huge um, trap with all the different attacks that are coming up from it, and it just absorbs you with a very high vortex effect. Yeah, unfortunately, Gwig for Comet in the neutral is going to be uh, very easily assist punishable. So, yeah, a way to punish the... Um, <laughs> that flare went from all the way to through the arena. A way to punish the Dreary Cell is just to rush and to dodge right at the uh, last second, as you see, uh, as you see Raven do right now. And Wind Shear is going to be something that we'll be seeing a bit because Wind Shear has um, great uh, capabilities to just throw back the enemy's flare back at him. So that's one of the options Onionet has to just remove any lingering flare. But unfortunately, it's very good to maneuver around all the dreary cells and the flares that the opponent is going to set up. Hey, Dr. Omega. Hope the cast on Kingdom Hearts went well. Okay, here we have an assist finish again. Panic assist call from uh, the Onion Knight player that is unfortunately not going to assist swap him. Uh, a dreary cell that is going to hit once more. And other flare that is going to wall rush into a Kuja assist. He has lethal, that's game. Uh, assist chase flare, that's done. That's done, and that's 2-0 for Slate Roll.